Today is being called Black Monday, a time to spread awareness about heroin use, particularly in children and young adults. Local addiction experts say heroin use has really spiked in the valley over the last couple of years, and the problem is growing. Fox 5's Lindsay Curtis is live at the Salvation Army near Alta and Rancho, where a group called There's No Hero in Heroin is setting up their first Las Vegas event. Yeah, Olivia, the addiction specialist I talked to today tells me that the heroin that's out there today is more potent than it ever has been before, and it's becoming more popular for the younger crowd to be smoking it and snorting it, sometimes without their parents ever knowing that their child needs help. Now, the father who put this event together lost his son to heroin, and he hopes to help other parents know what to look out for before it's too late. Why didn't I knock on his door when I left for work in the morning? Why didn't I pop my head in there and check and see who was okay? There are questions Joe Engel asks himself every day. Know? Ever since the morning, he left for work and his oldest son overdosed on heroin in his bedroom. That was in 2011. Reese Engel was just 19 years old. His little brothers and his nieces and nephews really looked up to him. He was a leader for sure. Reese Engel, the oldest of four boys, had just graduated from a Valley High School. That's where his father says his addiction started at age 15 with prescription painkillers and soon evolved into smoking heroin. He put together this slideshow showing local teenagers as well as celebrities who have struggled with a heroin addiction. I have grave concerns that we're losing a generation here. It's a pattern Dr. Mel Pohl sees too often at the Las Vegas Recovery Center where 20 to 30 percent of the patients are heroin addicts. He says the drug is easy to find, cheaper than prescription pills, and difficult for some parents to detect. With prescription drugs, the signs are very subtle, uh, and, and uh, when, when a, a youngster begins using heroin, um, the shift can be uh, almost imperceptible. Mood swings, lack of motivation, and changes in physical appearance are possible signs of a heroin problem, Dr. Pohl says. Some addicts will pick at their skin, others' faces will break out when withdrawals make them sweat. Red flags Engel sees now looking back on his son's behavior leading up to the day his life changed forever. He, he, he definitely you know, showed all the cliche signs. Tonight, the organization that put this event together is collecting donations for these flowers you see on this memory wall. The red flowers represent teenagers in town who have lost their lives to a heroin struggle. The black flowers represent those who are still struggling with a heroin addiction. And the white flowers represent local teenagers who have overcome a heroin addiction. Reporting live, Lindsay Curtis, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Lindsay, thanks very much. The goal of tonight's Black Monday event is to raise enough money to send at least one addict through a rehabilitation program. You can donate through the There's No Hero in Heroin Twitter or Facebook page. There's a link on our website, fox5vegas.com.